We want Oklahoma to be the most pro-life state in the country. Uh, we want to outlaw abortion in the state of Oklahoma. With lawmakers and faith leaders looking on, Governor Kevin Stitt following through on his promise to sign all pro-life legislation that hits his desk Tuesday morning. SB 612 would criminalize abortion by making it a felony for doctors to perform abortions facing up to 10 years in jail and up to a $100,000 fine. We value life because our God in heaven values life. Opponents weighing in from the region and around the nation. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki releasing a statement saying in part, this unconstitutional attack on women's rights is just the latest and one of the most extreme state laws signed into law to date. I think it's been clear that the legislature and also the governor want to be the most restrictive state in the country, no matter the cost to the people they serve. Officials from Planned Parenthood say for the last eight months, they continue to see more Texas patients at their Oklahoma clinics than in-state patients. Unless the law is blocked, they say they will continue to perform services until the bill takes effect in late August. We'll do all we can to keep access available. State Attorney General John O'Connor says he's confident the law will stand up in the courts, but he knows that the Mississippi case at the federal level is the linchpin. The states should have the rights to make that decision, and that's what we're hoping the U.S. Supreme Court does, is return it to the states and the people. Officials with the Center for Reproductive Rights firing back, Oklahoma's total abortion ban is blatantly unconstitutional and will wreak havoc on the lives of people seeking abortion care within and outside the state. This bill will be challenged immediately by liberal activists uh, from the coast who always seem to want to come in and dictate and mandate and challenge our way of life here in the state of Oklahoma. We are Oklahomans, we live here, we pay taxes here, and most importantly, we expect um, a legislature and politicians to stay out of health care decisions. Officials with the ACLU of Oklahoma say they are looking into legal action on this and other state abortion bills. They say criminal-based laws like this one have been blocked before. We filed our cases in Oklahoma state court. And therefore, we believe that there are better protections under our laws and under state laws that could ensure that, uh, may, that possibly our Texas-style bills don't go into effect. Now, this bill, and soon to be law, focuses on the doctor. The mother cannot be charged. Now, unless there is a block in the courts, this law will go into effect in late August. And, oh, by the way, three other abortion-related bills went through a House committee this afternoon. We're live at the Capitol. Brent Skarkey, Oklahoma's news.